Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Drone, we're going to build, price, and option the 2018 Ford Escape SEL. Before we do, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you're in the market for a new vehicle, download my Nuts and Bolts Start to Finish Ultimate Guide on how to buy a new car for the lowest price. I put a link in the description below over to my website. All right, so what's new for 2018? Well, there's revised feature availability, whatever that means. And there's new SEL trim level, which works out for us. Well, because, well, we're doing the SEL. Now, there is a turbocharged 2-liter engine, but we can't get that because that's only available on the titanium. That's the one level up from this, and we're not going to get the titanium. Here's why. I think the Escape SEL is a good way to get near the titanium's near luxury offerings while keeping the price affordable. This thing starts off at $21,100, okay? 23 city, 30 highway, seating for five, all right? Now, we're going to get into the key features here in a minute. Here's the deal, though. With the SEL, you get some nice features, including a power lift gate, leather upholstery, and the Sync 3 tech interface. Uh, I did a review of the Sync 3, and I'll put a link up right now if you're interested. To further off why I think the SEL is good, uh, if safety is important to you, well, all you have to do is just option this with the safe and smart package, and it adds the comprehensive set of uh, the driver aids that Ford offers, and that, that includes lane departure intervention, Ford collision mitigation, so it's it's got the uh, safety tech in there. All right, so you've been looking at the key features while I've been running my mouth, so let's just talk about these real fast. The reverse sensing system. This is a key feature of the SEL, right? So... That's going to give you, let you know, are you about to hit something while you're backing up? That's cool. The Sync 3 interface. This is where all the tech lives, right? The Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, the navigation, the apps, the, 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 the voice-activated phone, all that stuff. All that tech stuff lives in the Sync 3 system, and it's pretty cool. Uh, then this one comes with the 18-inch bright machined aluminum wheels. Is there an upgraded wheel? I don't know. If there is, I'm probably jumping on it, but the wheels seem fine. Um, power and handling. So we've got some drop downs here, power and handling, interior features. So the whole breakdown, even specs. All right, let's, let's go do this one by one. Now I might not say everything. So if you want to read something, cause I might not read everything, then just simply pause the video momentarily to read what you need to read. And then we can move forward. All right. So we see it's got the standard 1.5 EcoBoost motor. Are they going to tell us how much horsepower it makes? No. They're just going to show us a picture of not even the motor. Uh, Six-speed automatic transmission, blah, blah, blah. Optional is an engine block heater. Yeah, we're not doing that. Standard, right? Standard stuff. Um, optional. Well, there's the reverse sensing system. Uh, side view, integrated bliss. So you got the side, uh, side blind spot monitoring system is integrated. That's standard. That's really cool. Uh, Bliss is the cross traffic alert. That's like if you're backing out of like a space at the grocery store or something. Uh, optional is the all wheel drive. I hate that you have to option all wheel drive on an SUV. It just seems stupid. Adaptive cruise control, collision warning. All right. So what I'm really looking at, I you you might be looking at the, the standard stuff, and I'm glancing at that real quick, but I'm kind of curious what the options are. So wheels and tires. Oh, all right. I guess we are up on the 18 inch uh, wheels because that's what it told us that we had uh, when we read above. All right, so interior features. What are we doing here? Leather trim seats, uh, matte pockets, blah, blah, blah. Dual zone climate control. You've got the Sync 3, Sync Connect, Sirius XM, uh, Sirius Traffic. All right, you'll get what, like a three-month uh, trial subscription with the free car. Uh, it's a six-speaker system, so it's not banging, but, you know, it probably plays good enough. Optional is the, the navigation system sync with the pinch and zoom and all that. Does that up? Does that up the speakers? Probably, uh, probably not, because they don't say anything about it. Who knows? Uh, comfort and convenience. We'll find out though. Uh, a lot of standard stuff. Not going to go through all of this. What's optional? The panoramic roof, the remote start system, auto dimming rear view mirror. Got it. Uh, exterior features. Um, skid plates. Yeah. Uh, LED signature lighting, that's cool. Power lift gate, that's cool. Uh, rock rack crossbars, mm, I don't think we need that. Uh, windows and glass, rain sensing wipers is an option. That's okay, that works. It's probably not expensive. 
uh, tire pressure monitoring system they got. Uh, what's safety canopy? What's that all about? Oh, okay, gotcha. That's just their airbag system. Okay. Um, security, you've got the uh, rear view camera. I thought the halogen reflector headlamps, advanced track roll stability control. Uh, you got torque vectoring. That's cool. My key, uh, auto high beam headlamps. And then for packages, the optional packages are uh, you can get a toler, tor, <laughs> trailer tow package, lane keep system. Right, that's all the safety tech. Uh, the SEL Sport Appearance Package. We're all over that. We're all over that. Are they going to show a picture? Not a good one. View details. Oh, bam. Okay. 19-inch wheels. Nice. Black belt line molding. Uh, LED tail lights. The whole nine. We'll read about it a little bit more. But at least we know it exists. We're getting it. Because I love the sport on anything. Standard group equipment A. And let's look at the specs. The only thing I really want to know is how much horsepower this motor is making. You could tow 3,500 pounds, though. Uh, we're going to be getting the 19-inch wheels right there. There's the warranty, three-year, 36, bumper to bumper, powertrain. Uh, where's the engine? Where's the engine? There's our, might as well take a quick pause here so you can grab that if you want to pause, the vehicle length, uh, stuff like that. Let's, let's get over to, not capacities. Okay, so, all right, here we go. So, We've got the 1.5 EcoBoost, makes 179 horsepower and 177 pound-feet of torque at 2,500 RPMs. Uh, I thought it was going to be a little better than that, seeing that it was turbocharged. I thought it'd be down into the under 2,000 RPMs that it'd make its max torque, but that's not too bad. And it's a little high here, but it's still not too bad, 275. We're going to get the 2-liter if we can. I think we can. So... That's what I really want to find out. I want to find out the specs on these motors, right? This one makes a compression ratio of 10 to 1. Surely they have this one. They just haven't uh, filled it in. They probably forgot about it. All right, let's go up and hit the build and price. Okay, so here we are on the uh, build and price page. We're skipping to the kind of front of the line. The only higher one is the titanium, and we're pretty much getting everything. Uh, are we going to option it up to the price of the titanium? Possibly, <laughs> but... But we'll see. All right, let's uh, let's jump into it. Let's jump into it. What color? What color do we like? I like, uh, what's the white gold again? This isn't going to be a, well, it's not a bad rendering of that, is it? It's not a bad rendering of that. Hang on a second. There we go. Uh, what about the white platinum? That's a 595 option. That's the one with the metallic flake in there. Let's do that. I just think that's, I just like those colors. That's. Just, I just like the colors. I like the light colors. They're cool. All right, so that's the 1.5 EcoBoost. That's what we have standard, but I think I think we could option up to the 2 liter. I can't remember. I can't remember. Uh, let's see. Front wheel drive. Yeah, okay. Intelligent all-wheel drive system. We want that, okay? That's gonna t so they play with the internet prices because the internet price before was 28.1 or 4 when, I, when we first started the video. Now it's under that. So whatever, we won't go completely on the price because it's obviously going to be different in your area. So, but we're we're using it as a general marker. Twenty eight thousand dollars is where we're at. Um, this is uh, a package group three hundred A. This has all that stuff, the standard features. We already went through all that. Exterior package. Do we want this tow package? Not that we don't. We can't get the two liter. That's the one point five package. What's the Ford Safe and Smart package? That's all the technology stuff, the lane mitigation. Lane keeping, all that stuff, thirteen hundred bucks. We want in on that. The sport appearance package that didn't bump up that motor. I know it didn't do that. No, it's it's a complete um, appearance package, but it's a nice one for just a thousand dollars. Let's go ahead and throw it in there. I mean, we're just at thirty grand. Uh, would I like to talk to a representative? Not right now. Cancel. Um, the Bliss blind spot information system with cross traffic alert that's included. Exterior mirrors, power glass heated with integrated blind spot mirror and gloss body color skull caps. <laughs> body color skull cap. Um, well, what happens if I click this? Because there's no price. Are they just giving that to me free or is it bundled in with something else? It's bundled in with something else. They want you to remove all this other stuff and we're not doing that. Never mind. All right. Uh, the 
projector headlamps are there. Lane keep system. Yep, got that. Panoramic roof. What do you think? Yeah, let's throw it in. Looks a little naked without the roof up there, huh? Yeah, let's do that. Power lift gate, that's there. The remote start feature, I'm really bummed because it doesn't seem like we can get the 2-liter engine. doesn't seem like we're going to get the 2-liter engine option, but there's a lot of slider left here. But it's probably getting down to just a bunch of accessories. Roof rack, now, nah, and black. Uh, we Looks like ours are in black right now. <laughs> that's the way ours look right now. Uh, the splash guards, I want the splash guards. Okay, I know I want the splash Okay. Um, the pitcher went away. I needed to get that back for us. Splash guards, but that other one wouldn't come back. Okay, wheel lock lug nuts. We want that. It's just cheap security for your wheels, man. Why not? Uh, we've got the big optional 19-inch black wheels. You already saw them because we, we had the other pitcher up the whole time. And why not get a shot of the interior? It looks pretty cool. Um, the light interior actually doesn't look bad with the dark rugs. I could keep it clean. That's usually why I... I would only ever tell somebody to, uh, oh, you had to remove that. So the, the SEL package specifically has that color, uh, that active X. Okay. Do I want to continue? No. I want to keep. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Uh, the cargo mat. Yeah. Throw the cargo mat in there. Okay. Throw the cargo mat in there. Uh, the floor liners, front and rear. Yep. Throw those in there too. Uh, the interior cargo cover so people can't just look at all our stuff. Yeah. Throw that in there as well. Um, we have, do we want the upgraded navigation one? I would say for $800, it's a cheap yes. Technically, you probably don't need it because if it's got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, when you go to your maps, you can run your maps through that. But I still think it's cool. When you go to sell the car on, I mean, is it really going to be that much of a help on the, on the resale market? Probably not. But maybe, maybe for 800 bucks, if you could swing it, throw it in. You know, if you can swing it, throw it in. All right. Uh, sing three, da 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 da. Leather trimmed heated front bucket seats. I know we can't do that because that'll remove our package. We've got the sport package. We don't need the hood protector. I think the car cover's cool. I love car covers. I do. Uh, side window deflectors, no. Now we're down to into accessories and we're not doing any of that stuff. Interior light kit. Wait a minute. <laughs> I might have spoke too soon. LED uh, lights. Okay. Not available with OEM ambient lighting package. I don't think we have that, so let's add. Okay, cool. Cool. We got the lights. Portable DVD player? No. Nope. Soft-sided cooler bag? Nope. Uh, nope. We don't need the tab tablet cradle by Lumen. Let's go to the summary. Let's just go there instead. Um, all right, so we can print this off. So here's what's going to happen. In the description below, I'm going to put the link to this build summary. So if you like this build summary... I'm going to put the link down there, right along with that link to my new car guide on how to get the lowest price. All right, so base MSRP, they had it at $29,450. With all our add-ons, we had a, basically $6,200 in options. And, you know, their destination charges, blah, 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 blah. We're at $33,000, right? Our internet price is $33,718. So I'm going to go ahead and print this off. If you've made it to the end, thank you for watching. You're awesome. Please like, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.